What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 2 of the T2D team at T2DSL. We take on One Direction and we've got something juicy in store. Today is the third clash between Pocket Rocket and Moses. And we all know this is Pocket's biggest nemesis having lost to him twice. This time, Pocket has put a lot of cash on the line. Let's get into it. Yo, Moses, you've beat me the last few times, yeah? If you win, I'll give you 400 pounds. I want to motivate you. Every set you win, 100 pounds for you. And on top of that, I'm gonna give you another 100 if you win the game. Ooh. Let's do this. I'm gonna have to get the boxing gloves out. You'll be going over that store in your pocket, son. I just wanna win the game. He has to win, it's huge for him. It's pressure, really it's gonna be too much for him. If he wins, the trilogy continues. Cannot wait. Our next match is against the One Direction team. These guys have got a nemesis to one of our own players. Ooh. Pocket, are you ready for your showdown with Moses? I'm ready, bro. I'm ready, That's bro. a big game. Let's game. go, Pocket. Look at the focus. Sleep was an issue for me for <laughs> the past 18 months. You're so ready. This is what you live for. That is a huge match, okay, that we will look forward to. But of course, we are a team. We play as a team. So our number one is Tom the Frog. Hey. Hey. Coming in at number two is Pocket Rocket. Yes, yeah. so Pocket. Number three, making his TTDSL debut, is a ringer. Yes, go, ringer! Yeah. Go, yeah. Go, yeah. Go, yeah. Now this is a momentous occasion. Also making his TTDSL debut is the founder. Yay! 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 That's it, that's it. Right, it's gonna be a short one lads, okay? They're called One Direction, and the direction they're going is down. My frog leg has been spliced open. This is dangerous. I might get smelled out by a bigger fish and he'll just come and eat me. I'm a helpless little frog! Oh. <laughs> Look, it's staring down Moses. This is it now, this is it. Pocket's lost twice. If he loses again, the rival is dead. I mean, you never know what's going to happen with Moses. You could get anything from him. But we need Pocket to win. Yeah, yeah. I'm umpiring that one as well. I feel the pressure just umpiring, so... <laughs> We'll see how we get on. We're quietly confident, aren't we? Obviously, it's a big one. We're going to bring the atmosphere. Massive, massive. Just warmed up. Pocket's on now. Yeah, another battle, another day, another game. What's happening, people? We're back. It's episode two, and we just want to give a massive shout out to the guys from Cardiff City Table Tennis Club for making the arena look amazing. So then, we're currently joint top of the table. It's all to play for as we take on the determined One Direction side. The gaffers pick then. Frog, Pocket, Ringer and myself. The One Direction team is led by two brothers, Nafong, a top England junior, his brother Nafat, the notorious Moses and Joe Ratajak. In the opening match we've got the Pocket Rocket versus Nafong, let's do this. Here we go, this is going to be fireworks as Nafong's style is extremely aggressive and he goes by the name of Pow and here you can see why. Pocket this time with a the rocket. There he is. And he goes into a 9 5 lead. Come on. Big backhand counter. That might make the top 10. Come on. Set point pocket. Wins it on the trademark. 1 0. The backhand, this is what we want to see from Pocket Rocket. Full commitment. Pocket power right there. This is also a crazy game for me to watch because I'm obviously power. I'm very good friends with him. He's been my teammate for like five years, England teammate, played Europeans with him. It's a weird feeling right now. <laughs> he is flying! He's only just gone and done it again. A chop block into a backhand counter. I mean, who even does this? Pocket's buzzing then, 10-5. And wins it and storms into a 2-0 lead. Let's go, Pocket. Let's go. Hey, single to classic. 
one, two, three. Now, if I'm giving Pocket some of his own medicine there, and gets a set point. It's the battle of the backhand. Nafong takes it. It's 2-1. Uh, we you start the attack. Place, place this yeah. place this yeah. I can't go to this backhand. That's his strength. Yeah, That's his strength, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. B-Sair giving inside tactics against his teammate. Anything for the legacy. <laughs> Nafong trying to go for a top 10 contender. If that had gone on, we'd have had to restart the simulation. Pocket grafting. Oh, Unleashing the beast. Oh, Nafon giving no time at all there. He's delaying the launch of the rocket. Oh, Match point pocket. Takes it! What a performance to open up this match! TTD won, 1D nil. First match, set us on our way now. Good stuff, man. So the guy that Pocket just beat and this guy that Pocket's about to play now, they're brothers. They come out with some amazing just flat hits. Wow, wow. They take the chairman's cup to a new level. So next up then we've got the frog as he takes on the fat. Here's the good stuff. What a battle this is, so we're locked in at 15 all. Good backhand punch down the line there from the fat. Gets himself a set point. Oh, the fat dumps it in the net, frog grafting, 16 all. Good spin. The frog gets a match point. And takes it in three straight sets. TDD2, one direction, nil. Strong from the frog, frog yeah. doing his thing, greasing it in. Yeah, Charles watch Moses. Yeah man, exciting game. There's gonna be a lot of rallies for sure. Yo, yo, it's the gaffer here. I'm back in the booth, ready for Founder's debut in TTD SL. Here he is up against Moses, and Founder took the initiative, he won the first set. So the founder's in a 1-0 lead here. Gets a good spin in. This could take a while. Yo video guy, let's speed this up. Moses with the windmill, where did that come from? Okay. We're tied at juice, it's 10-10. Great shot by the founder. Every time, let's go. Set point founder. No. <laughs> what a switch. He goes 2 new up. He sent Moses to Sainsbury's, mate. Moses is still in the, in the cat food aisle. <laughs> Looking for the whiskers. <laughs> Back in the day, the pocket was 2 new up against this fella. And we all know what happened there. Why would you even say that, Chair? You can't tempt fate like that.
tent. Every ball, yeah? Sure. Let's Cheers. go, Founder. Let's win this match. Chairman tempting fate like that. Here we are in the fifth and final set. Strong start by the Founder. This guy's just making it up as he goes along. Moses in a 5-3 lead. There's no better feeling than a big show. No, it's nothing, nothing beats it. Hey, tool. This is tight. Moses on the back foot. God, that was savage. Some call him founder, others call him Timo. You decide. Oh! Oh! Come on down. <laughs> Match point founder. Moses on the back foot again. Slinging rockets. Just keep coming back. But not that one. Founder takes it 3-0. What a debut. The boy's now in a 3-0 lead over the 1D team. That's me, boy. That's my bro. You need to get a before and after of the founder when he goes on with his hair all pristine. <laughs> like the guy from Greece and then he finishes looking like that. So in match four, the ringer took on Joe Ritarjak. The ringer was absolutely buzzing and he went 2-0 up. We joined this match in the third. Ringer flying. Back to those Olympic days. The ringer then with a match point. Relentless, what a performance. 4-0, TTD. I'll give it to the ringer, there we the go. Ringer. There we go. Very smooth performance. You know what it was? It was a ringer's performance. <laughs> That's the recipe. Take it easy, man. Don't stress yourself. So in match five, then we got the frog as he takes on the young whippersnapper, Nafong. These two went in. Here we go then, we're in the fifth and final set. Nafong there coming out strong. That's it, Frog. They call this kid Pow for a reason. Here's why. Tom battling hard, he's 9 2 down. Hang on a minute, Tom might have found a new tactic here. Yeah. It's a fly swatting contest. Impressive performance here from the Fong. He's got himself a match point. Swaps hands. <laughs> Tom clumps it again. Nafong then with four match points. So Nafong wins it and gets the first point on the score sheet. It's TTD 4, One Direction 1. 
Yeah. Come, you killed me, bro. You, got, you, you killed me. Player, Why the hell didn't I do that earlier? I know I can do that shot. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you plump it past him first? At the end, he was trying to play like me, me and my brother. He was trying to play like us. He was doing long serves and then waiting for it. But yeah, it was a fun game. It is time for what everyone's waiting for. Moses versus Pocket, part three. There's 400 pounds on the line here for Moses. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn out, enjoy. Score predictions. <laughs> Moses 3 2. I think Moses is going to win 3 1. Ume 3 2. Pocket 3 1. I just want to go out, play my game, and just beat him. This is going to be madness. Right then, people, before we get to the big one, Pocket Rocket vs Moses, let's take a look at what happened elsewhere in round two. Then here's the moment you've all been waiting for. There's 400 pounds on the line. It's Pocket Rocket versus Moses. <laughs> you could cut the tension with a knife. The Pocket couldn't serve a school dinner right now. He's finally got the serve on. Moses already doing Moses things. He's dropping off the table. Moses slinging in the backhand. Moses is one point away from winning 100 pounds. Well, that really cost the pocket, literally. There it is, his first 100. Five, four, three, two, one. Interesting. Looks like the pockets developed a smash shot. Shame we didn't have that last year. Moses on the wiggle. Pocket having none of it. Gets himself another set point. Moses feeling the force of the pocket rocket. It's 1-1. One, one. I don't know why I lost one game. These lads turn up the heat and set free. Over Moses. Let's go, Pocket. Nice shot, nice shot. Just I know what I'm doing. Oh, Pocket unleashing that backhand. And again on the backhand. Good spin. Gets a 5 0 lead. You can feel the energy in this chair. This guy can talk about chairs. He called off Cho of the season. I feel your chair. Your chair's on. <laughs> He's really going for it now. Pocket has demoralised Moses. 
Looking confident, Pocket. He's got himself a match point. And Pocket's done it. He's defeated his nemesis. Called it. I think you're the only one who called it. 3-1 pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, Moses. He goes in. Rodri goes on. I've got to come back with something special after that. Man. First you three, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good game, man. Nice. You've been waiting 18 months for that? Yeah, bro. I had to wait 18 months, bro. Frustrating. Couldn't sleep. So whilst Pocket's getting some hard-earned sleep, let's check out the aside data from the match. So here's the overall stats. It was always going to happen, Pocket opening up and attacking first a lot more than Moses. But here's where it gets interesting. We all know that Moses loves to play away from the table and this is where he beat Pocket in their previous two encounters, with Pocket struggling with the high balls. However, in this third clash, you can see Moses only won four points when away from the table and Moses was much better off playing close to the table, nearly doubling his chances of winning a point. In actual fact, Pocket only missed one smash shot on his forehand side throughout the whole match. The Pocket vs Moses saga continues. Who's going to be the man of the match of this one, Chair? Good performers in this. Yeah, I'll give it some thought. <laughs> Might go with the beast again. <laughs> <laughs> he's done some great supporting. So the ringer's back on the court in match seven. He's taken on the fat. Now, at the start, the ringer did have a tough start. He went 2-0 down. But somehow the ringer found some form and made his way back to the fifth. I love that. That is world class. Letting that back end go is smooth, man. What prediction, champ? Prediction? It's going to go at five. Right, yeah. It's, it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> the ringer 11 8. Lightning reactions there. What a way to start this fifth. He's just getting everything back right now. He's got a backhand like his brother. Good spin there from the ringer, but it's not enough. Nafat's got a match point. Ah, ringer sends it long. Nafat three, ringer two. So TTD lead 5 2 over one direction. Hey man, I mean, the other kid played well. So Founder took on Joe in the last match, who came flying out the blocks at the start. But Founder was just too strong for the 1D player and spun his way to victory. Founder adds to the win and makes a final score 6-2 over one direction. What a result for the team. Full of legacy. Gaffer out. Good game, guys. Good stuff. Massive game for the boys. Professional performance. What can you ask for at the end of the day, you know? They gave it their all. I'm already looking forward to the next game. <laughs> now you're going to be the one going home for the next however long, thinking about that match against Pocket. What do I even think about? Taking the ball up. <laughs> Stop the rocket. So there we go guys, we took out One Direction 6-2 and remain joint top of the table alongside Ebat and Nottingham Uni. In the next episode, we take on the experienced Super Vets. Now be sure to check out the new TTD SL YouTube channel in the description below where you can watch all matches in full from this round. You also can watch the full length matches from the TTD team as well, so be sure to check it out. For now, the Pocket and Moses saga continues. Let's find out who the chairman's man of the match is from this round. I've told the captain this is the best team outside the professional game. It's a big statement to make. The big difference in this game when we started at 100%. This mentality, this drive, this passion, right from the beginning, 
right until the end, like Dan just did this then, 3 0, didn't let up once. And that's what we need to be doing every single match. Yeah. Uh, who's right, your man of the match for that go one? Mate? Tough one. To my first ball, my favourite son. Um, Is that the pocket? Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You're obviously donkey bearer. I'd like to award this donkey to the founder. <laughs> I was so close to the man of the match to end up with donkey of the day. Which really? one was it? Which one was it with the push? Moses come under the table oh, with that back to push, push it in the net. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, legacy! Be sure to like, subscribe guys. Captain, we need some big likes on this one. I want 7K likes. Be sure to like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.